What is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another Sohingi channel video, where today, what I'm going to be showing you guys is, uh, is some demon tech. And I know it looks like, it looks like we're playing Survivor, but what I'm doing this for is, uh, we're actually playing a solo game so that I can show you some important demon tech that you're going to need to win high-level matches. So, uh, basically, if you are a demon and you know when you've gone against these kinds of groups, uh, you're going to run into people that really, really love using cars. Not just a single car, by the way. They really love using multiple cars at all times. And in order to be able to deal with this as the demon, you're going to need to know how to flip the cars over so that they are no longer usable by the survivors. Uh, there's many techniques to do this. We've kind of been developing lingo and, and tech for, like, exactly how this works. But basically, when it comes to, uh, doing this tech, it kind of depends on the kind of car you, you want to be taken care of and where you are on the map. Basically, all that we care about is the car is incapacitated. It doesn't have to be fully flipped over or anything. Um, but if you're in one of these small cars that has a little bit more get up and go, you can just hold the decelerator plus, uh plus <laughs> any direction. And then basically what you're gonna do is, as I, I know I just flipped the car without fully explaining, but what you do is you hold the D, or I, I call it decelerator. You put you put your foot on the in rever reverse and you hold any direction. And as soon as you feel the car flipping, you ease up on the gas and the car should flip right over. You can do that with these uh, small uh, compact cars. This car, we call these box cars. These cars, uh, the only way to deal with them is to put them on some kind of terrain because if they're just on their side, they're not going to be able to flip over. So with the box cars, what you're going to be looking for are tree stumps we, uh, is what we call them, but they're like basically just logs. Uh, you're looking for this. Let me just like try and illuminate it a little better. You're looking for one of these fallen trees. And what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to drive all the way up onto it and try and balance the car on uh, the branch, because this is really like the only way we've found to deal with these cars. And as you can see, oh, no, actually that's fixable, so uh, that one might not have worked. There we go, we wanna get all the way up there. Uh, that's not gonna work though, because, and they, these can be tricky sometimes, depending on the, the specific branch. Um, but you're gonna wanna stick the car up on to the, uh, the fallen over tree. Uh, we'll see if we can get it right now, full acceleration, up on top there, perfect. And it's balanced, you see I'm gonna hold reverse, can't do anything, hold forward, can't do anything. So that car is dealt with. And that's how you deal with, uh, the box cars largely. There's a few different ones, uh, where you can, you know, perform different techniques to deal with the car. Um, but we call, well, there's the normal flip that we just showed you. There's, there's also wall tech and tree tech. I know there's like all these weird terms. Um, but let me try and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Alright, so. First and foremost, let's try and show off uh, the wall tech here. Um, we have to find... You basically have to find a flat wall that doesn't have anything protruding that could ruin uh, the car. And I actually think I passed by the one I was looking for. So let me see if I can... Oh no, here it is. I don't know why, how I missed this. Um, you can use tree tech on this one, but we're going to go ahead and try and show off the wall tech first. You just want to find any flat wall. I'm not positive this one works, but we're going to try it. And you're just going to hold accelerate and up against the wall. Boom. It flips on its side. As long as it goes on its side like this, that is now no longer usable by the survivors. Um, so. Let me just go ahead and show you. I can't get in this car anymore. So that car is effectively dealt with. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can show off the tree tech. Um, these fast cars, like the one I'm about to get in, are, uh, very easy to deal with in, in the, with a normal flip way, but we'll try it, we'll just go ahead and try to show you the tree tech. So basically what you're looking for when you're doing tree tech is any bigger tree, um, like, bigger than this. Like, that's a little too skinny, but the one I was right next to when I started actually might have been good enough. Uh, let me try and illuminate that. See right here. So what you're gonna want to do, you don't even need to go fast. You just hold up against the tree and accelerate, and you'll see uh, even just moving that slow, the car started to flip a little bit. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. And you're gonna want to just hold the same direction that you were going when you first uh, started accelerating on the tree. That one might have been a little too skinny, so let's see if we can find a slightly bigger one. This one looks like it could work, so let's try this. Uh, oh, there was a another tree there <laughs> blocking the way. Uh, how about this one? Yep, there we go. Perfect. So you kind of just drive up against the tree like it's a wall, and as you can see, well, this one actually isn't flipped over quite enough. 
that might have done it. Yeah, now we can no longer get in this car. So that is dealt with. Um, so, so far we've shown you log tech, tree tech, and the normal flip. The only other tech to show you, I don't know if there's a good spot for it. I actually think I do know one spot we can show this off, but we call it hang tech. Um, and, and that's where you basically hang something off of a ledge in a way where the tires don't have any reach on anything, so the car can no longer move. This is actually perfect. So, this is a perfect spot to show off hang tech here. Um, because this is one of the easiest hang tech spots on the map. So let me go ahead and hop in this car here. Add misery. This spot, you're, and you're gonna memorize these spots when you play more. Um, but this spot, if you just back this car up, is going to be right here, uh, by the frying pan tunnel roof entrance. You'll see there's a spot here where it opens up that a car could fall in. You're basically just going to get the car's nose stuck in there, and now, boom, I cannot go back, I cannot go forward. That car is completely taken care of. Uh, so that's hang tech. And you're gonna get used to these spots. Like, for instance, I know for a fact already, just from having played so much Demon, and uh, practicing these flips that these two cars up here have two very easy flips as well at Misery Manor. And why are these important? The reason these are important is because um, you're not necessarily, except sometimes you might just because you know it's an easy flip, you're not necessarily going to start the match and just start flipping every car. But when you find the survivors, especially when you know that the group could potentially be a pre-made, it's going to be important to take care of the cars as fast as possible first and then after that, after you've already sort of uh, gotten um, all the cars taken care of, that's when you can start easily harassing the survivors. So, for instance, I know for a fact this car flips very easily up against the wall because we can use wall tech right here. So let's go ahead and get in the vehicle and just show you guys. Press up against the wall. Boom. That car is taken care of suddenly. Ooh, we are outside the map as Ed Getley. Anyways, guys, um, I hope you have enjoyed the tips. Now, what I want to show you is kind of how we put this into practice. So, uh, I had a really nice game the other day against what seemed like a pre-made. They were just driving every boxcar around that they possibly could. Um, and how we dealt with that game. And what looked like it was going to be a tough match turned into an easy one as soon as we eliminated their way to get around the map quickly, which is the cars that they were trying to bring around. So... Uh, I'm going to roll into that. I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, let me know if you like this video and you'd like to see more content like this. I am the whispered voice of darkness. Heed my counsel, and we will spill blood until the seas run red. I guess we should more. check Misery before we go elsewhere. Let's check Misery first, and then we can double back. Both, uh, both very good survivor players. I'm sure people could learn a lot from you. Especially all the reddit complainers. You could teach all these reddit complainers how to actually survive. Alright, one... We gotta drive this one a little bit further around the wall, though. Half our streams would be looking for a game, though? How come? There we go. Uh-oh. Let me back. Alright. Is this guy going in the tunnel by himself, or is this just... Yeah, he is by himself. Oh, no, he's not. Yeah, they're, they're getting in the car. I tried to let it go. We'll just keep possessing this one until it's broken, it's fine. Yo! That car is freaking out. But we have to keep possessing this one. We need this car to break. We can get rid of basically all the other ones, but we do need this car to break. Oh, they gave up on it. It must be bugged. Really? Nice. We don't mind that. I'm about to be out of energy anyway. One more heavy? Nice. Ooh, they're getting other cars, aren't they? We actually need to go get the one from, uh... They're all splitting up. This is very interesting. 
We need, we need to go get the car from Nobi here. Because that's probably what the Henry's doing. We need to go get this car and flip it super fast. In fact, he's already in it. This is what the good teams are going to do from now on, guys. They're just going to take cars. We can try and break this box car, though. We want to get rid of all of his ammo so he can't share it. Crash it into him. Nice. That's what we want. We want him to hit it. We just have to break the box cars. Look at these. They went. They went and got every box car, dude. Gotta use that power, dude. The map is a step closer to completion. This was not the plan. Try dismemberment. Gotta use it. Nice. That's super big. That's a really good shot on his part. He needed that. Alright, this car is basically dead. So is this one, actually. If we just possess this one, they're not going to really have a way to not break it. Okay. Notice how they're only getting box cars, by the way, guys? It's because they know these are the ones the demon can't flip. This is the survivor strategy from now on, guaranteed. Alright. Get rid of his specialty ammo. Okay. Now he shouldn't really be able to stop me from flipping these. Let's get this faster one right now. Should be able to just flip this right here. I don't mind if he takes that one. We need to get rid of one of them. We're going to be spending the entire first objective flipping cars, most likely. Should be fine to flip this. Rip. The lost pages of the Necronomicon have now been found. Consume the humans before they harness the book's all right. power. So let's get over here, and literally all we're doing during this phase is flipping cars. So, let's get this one. Okay. Um... They went and got another box car from down south, dude. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Um, first and foremost, let's deal with the one we know how to deal with super easy, which is this one. No, nope. not good enough. This, this, this group would know. Alright. We gotta drive this, like, all the way down. Wait. I didn't even know this was here. Nice. One more. This is the last one. It's actually almost busted. 
can maybe just break it. Just put it in a spot where it's like, really annoying to get. And now we'll just see if we can put a little bit of- actually, you know what? Let's just get out of banishment range. Oh, okay, perfect. This might not be far away enough. We have to be at least 350 meters, so... Oh, we're good. It's just 250. It's just 250. I'll just put damage on him. Alright. Next. Nice. We got the second one. He's taking full damage again now. Alright. He should be dead soon. Yeah, he can't- he can't survive this one. Yeah. Okay. Handled. Now we drive away and deal with this. Is he in a car? No. So we just spawn the boss on him. Nice. 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 He's panicking. Nice. Do we have our grab up in a second? This guy should be dead, dude. Oh, wow. Alright, they're falling apart now. Help me. Please. Hold fast, my friend. One by one, we will take you. <laughs> nice. I only need one orb here. Oh, he gave up. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Pre-made destroyed. Damn, son. That was a sick game. We just dealt really well with them. They tried to split, and they were trying to get like four separate boxcars, dude. Let's go.